So some of you are not happy with Ugbo at all, and Danny got some words for you. Hello and welcome to the video. So after the Sheffield City derby, Danny made his feelings very, very clear about the situation with one Ugbo. He's not happy at all with what's going on, and he's not happy with how things are being said and perceived. Um, and that's something we have to address, because he's made it very clear what he's not happy with. And the thing is, he thinks it's going to come good eventually with Ugbo. And we're going to talk about it here, but there's a lot of people who are making Ugbo the, the scapegoat this year, going, oh, we've spent all this money on him. Why are we done this? Why are we done X, Y, and Z? And you know what? I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair because if he went to Sunderland and he was banging goals in left, right, and centre, people would be going, oh, why have we not signed uh, Ugbo? We missed someone there. But somebody will come into this and go, yeah, but he's not going for us, is he, Jake? And you're right, he's not. But Danny wanted him. Danny got him. That's who he wanted to come in as the player. But here's the thing. we got to see what happened with this and back him. We can't keep have this situation where we have to um, be right on the player's backs. So before we get into this, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm. Sharing gets in front of people's faces. And subscribing lets me know you like channel. Hit on the notification bell so that you know when videos go live. There should be a debrief tonight. Uh, it may be me and someone else, but we'll see. Uh, Danny got asked basically about the criticism with Ugbo. He goes, no, sharply says no on Ugbo goal records. He's not concerned because I saw in the last game that he played that he had more and more moments. The moment will come. I trust him. I believe in him. You can speak about him. Him, for me, it's a step forward in his moments. His moment will come and then it will be easy to speak about. If you count our chances together, you see only one of our guys had a chance today. It was Masaba in that one situation. It's not about EK Ugbo or anything like this. It was how much we created as a team. Neither team created anything. If you look at the data, it was 0 0.57 to 0 0.6 XG. It means there wasn't anything there. And there is going to be somebody who jumps in here and goes, yeah, but football's not about data. It's not played on this. I get that. But Danny is a data-driven manager. This is what he does. He likes to look at numbers. He likes to look at what can be said and how the data is driven and how it can improve things. And I think this is the thing you've got to take into uh, account. Danny is data driven and that is something you have to look at. There's not a lot we can do about it. If, you're, if you don't like Danny looking at data, I don't know what to tell you on that. I bet, because it is something that he really likes. He likes the data side of it. And there's people who will have had that we will have got will have gone, oh, why the why did he not change the team for this then play Michael Smith instead? Well, he played an unchanged team from the Norwich game. If he changed it, some people would, would be like, why did he change the team? A winning te team. And I get it. I understand it. People are frustrated. People want to see a return in investment, as they say, uh, with what we've spent on Upbo. But if he went to Sunderland, he was banging goals in. People be complaining that, oh, we've missed the trick. He's going for fun there, and we've not got him. So here's the other thing, what he said. We changed straight after the 1-0 to bring the second striker and a winger. Then you have to look at the story again. You cannot go all in after 55 minutes. It was clear that we put the next offensive guys. Masaba immediately had a chance and we brought in an offensive fullback in pole. You make step by step, level by level. The impact was there, but it's not enough to come back. And he's right, it wasn't enough to come back. But here's the thing. Everyone getting on up both back, he's not going to help us, is it? It's not going to help us just going... Oh, we bought this player and he, he can't do this now. And what's annoying me is that there's a process that's going to be where we are. A lot of people, I've seen some people who were not happy about the result. And I get that. I wasn't happy about the result, but we put performance in. I don't think it was a classic derby. I don't think it was one you write home about. But we put a performance in. Yes, he's not scoring as much. Yes, I do feel like a little bit is that Danny's not playing to his strength. But 
or both doing bits off the ball, which is helping, like creating uh, faith for other people at times. I like to see us try to do Smith and Obo up top. But I have this thing where people keep thinking that because of both not working, it nah, we're not doing great. And we should it's all on Obo fault why we're not striking. Well, Michael Smith had go, but where are the balls into the box? Where are the crosses into the box that Obo likes as a poacher? He's a poacher, that's what he likes. He likes poaching. Granted, he's not been prolific where he's been, and I'll uh, accept that. And I think when he came in, he came in in a good period for where we needed it. That's all he do, give us that lift. But now he's crap. He's now crap. He's not, he's not any good. We don't think he's rating. And generally, I get really annoyed with this because Danny brought him in and he's going to try him. He's going to try and get him to play. He's going to try and see what he can do. Stopping and changing ain't going to help it. Like, Smith has a role in this squad, and a good role. I'd like to see them both play a bit of that little and large element where Smith holds it up so let Ubo go on the run. I think that would work really well. But we have to trust it, what's going on. And this is the thing. I think everyone's already, from with Ubo gone, they don't trust him anymore. They don't think he's that guy. They don't think he's going to go again or ever. And I think it's confidence thing. He gets that goal maybe against Norwich. Maybe it helps him a little bit more. I don't know. But it's just irritating. And the thing is, a lot of people didn't like him playing out from the back and wanted Danny to change it. We're still playing out from the black back and we are mixing it up with long balls. During the last international break, he changed it a little bit. He tactically changed it a little bit. He might do the same again. He might look at his striking situation and go, this needs to get fixed. I need to figure out a way to get these players striking. Maybe there is going to be something there. But I think going in on one player constantly is doing Danny's head in. And I think it's do, it doing my head, head in. Because all I hear is, oh, both crap, oh, both this, oh, both not this. And I I just don't know where you go if you're constantly criticising. Let's try and support the boys. Let's try and have that we're all Wednesday, aren't we? So at the minute, it, we're so divided about every little thing we do now. And I think we have to come together again. We're, we're going to be mid-table team. We're going to have games where we, one week, play really well and get something up, and uh, then others will get a draw. I do think we need to keep clean sheets. I think it'll be interesting to see what he does with Chalaber. But Danny's had his say. And by the sound of it, Danny's getting annoyed by it. And let's see. Let's see what happens after the break. Chant fun to reset, go again, see how it goes. But I don't know. Some people are not going to be happy with this video and I'm probably going to get criticism for it. But at the end of the day, that's what Danny said. <laughs>